Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add your how-to video to your digital portfolio. Go ahead and go to your website and go to the page where you're going to add your video. I'm going to add it to my computer design page. I'm going to choose insert text box. I'm going to drag this over about a third of the way and type in how to video. I'm going to change the text to subheading and I'm going to change it to emphasis one to keep a consistent design on my page. I'm now going to go to insert in the edit mode, choose images, select. I'm going to search for an image that represents video making. I went ahead and used computer as my keyword search and I like the quality of this image so I will select it and then choose select. I'm going to drag it below. In my case I'm going to make sure it's a solid blue line across so it ends up on its own row. I will drag it over and I'm going to make it the same width as my other images. I'm going to drag an image from the top and I'm going to go ahead and make it the same height. Just so you know, it looks much more professional if all the images and videos are the same size. I'm now ready for the next step. You're going to need to make sure that you have your video. I have mine on my desktop in my digital portfolio folder. I'm going to go to my Google Drive. I'm going to go ahead and go into my online portfolio folder, in this case, middle school and computer design. I will go ahead and open up my video folder and now I'm going to go ahead and upload that video from my desktop into this folder. I will choose new, file upload, I will go to that desktop folder and I will add it to my Google Drive. It might take some time to load, especially if it's a long video. So you might multitask and go do something productive. In my case, I might go to my digital portfolio and go ahead and look to see if I need to make any changes to perfect my website. I'm going to change my title on photo techniques because I don't want it taking up two rows. Maybe I needed to extend it. There you go. That looks much better. Make sure you publish. I'm still patiently waiting for the video to upload to my drive. So I'm continuing to look for mistakes on my website. I did find a small error where it says student. It should say students. Boy, Miss Clemente is sure picky. I bet she drives you students crazy. I publish frequently so that whoever is viewing the page will see the most current version of my work. I'll go back to the drive. Again, it's still loading. Some of my students will choose to go to Nitro Type and do a race while they're waiting for something to happen on their computer. Again, I'm still waiting, so maybe I'll do a quick race in Nitro Type. Well, I just raced and it didn't do very well. Let's go back to see. It's finally loaded. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that video and choose Get Shareable Link. I'm then going to go back to my website and I'm going to go ahead and locate that image that I set up. I'm going to select it, choose the Insert Link option, and I will either right click and choose Paste or do Control V and then Apply. I will then Publish and then I will click on the drop down arrow and choose View Publish Site. I will click on the image and see the video. As you can see, it's still processing, so don't panic. Eventually, the video will be viewable. I went ahead and raced again and I placed as winner. I'm so proud of myself. Anyhow, let's go back to see if the video is loaded. I will refresh the window and it is still processing. This is a good time for students to go find something productive to do on their computer and not to waste their time looking at videos that don't relate to this class. Well, my video is now viewable to anyone who goes to my website. This concludes the session on how to add your how-to video to your digital portfolio. Until next time, you have a wonderful day. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel.